Hi guys from YouTube, all my followers. Um, this video today is going to be about uh, uh, right. This is this what you see here now at the moment. This is a, a, a SEM, which is um, a central electronics module. Is the same as other makers um, call them a body control module, and uh, this is from uh, Volvo S40. Uh, 2006 and basically um, uh, long story short I've diagnosed a faulty a faulty SEM uh, the faulty SEM is where is the faulty SEM it's right here so this is the faulty SEM and uh, this is the replacement now before you can <laughs> utilize the replace before you uh, reutilize the replacement you need to copy all the information from the old ECU into the new ECU otherwise the car won't start uh, if the VIN numbers don't match the radio will not work uh, and other stuffs so I've copied all the information from this uh, <coughs> to uh, Motorola uh, uh, microprocessors I'm now Putting, loading the information on the uh, replace, replacement and what you need to do is you need to copy the um, e EP ROM and you need to copy the flash ROM from both processors and then you need to copy or load them into the new or into the replacement Okay, so um, what I've done first is uh, I've copied the EEP ROM from both of these and I put them in there. And uh, what I found is uh, the car started fine, no problem, but the VIN numbers they don't match. So because the VIN number doesn't match, there's no sound on the radio. And when you try to diagnose the car using uh, Volvo dice, you get all sorts of errors. Another problem that I found is, for example, this replacement was from a different engine. And obviously when I try to scan, all that information comes up. And I get errors for, for example, the, this is you. The car, where it came from, was fitted with a trailer module. So obviously because the car where I'm putting this on doesn't have a trailer module there's a message coming up on the cluster saying um, service required whatever so because it can't communicate with that module so we need to load the settings from the original ECU into this ECU so this is the process I'm using uh, Xproc to do this so the load of the flash is completed so but I will show you here. Xprog will show you all the connections. Will show you everything. So you just need to carefully solder all the wires into the chip. So this top um, processor, um, Motorola, is is done. The the other one that is underneath the tape over there. I've copied the EEP ROM already. Both EEP ROMs you need to copy them, otherwise the car won't start. So this is done. Now I'm going to put it back on the car, and hopefully um, that will be it. This is how you do to uh, install a second-hand SEM on a Volvo. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, any questions? Well, you know the score. Put them below. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video.